Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I kind of have a kind of Christmas tumbler, but kind of not. So let's go ahead and get started. I started with a 20 ounce sublimated tumbler. I already sublimated. I'll put a link in the description box below on how I sublimate a tumbler. Um, I had found this design on Creative Fabrica. It'll be listed in the description box below. And I mixed up 20 ounces of Mr. Nola's um, glitter fast set epoxy. Um, this stuff is amazing. I love it. So I went ahead and mixed up 20 ounces uh, or 20 milliliters of epoxy. And I'm going to add in um, some ice from the uh, Miss, no, the glitter guy, <laughs> it's the glitter guy, um, into the epoxy so that we can do sort of like a cheat over this, um, to give it some glitter. Of course, it's got to have glitter, um, mix that into the epoxy really well and, um, spread this all over the tumbler. Once the epoxy is all smoothed out, I do take my torch and pop any bubbles. And then um, I'm going to grab this red chunky glitter. I got it from like the Dollar Tree uh, forever ago. And I'm going to sprinkle that all over the tumbler, um, except where the, um, the saying is. I want to stay away from that saying. And then I also have some green chunky got from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I'm going to do the same thing and um, sprinkle that all over, uh, kind of just like confetti. Once I'm satisfied with that, I do grab Cash Money by the Glitter Guy. And, uh, but first <laughs> I'm gonna lay down some of those chunkies that are sticking up but then i grab cash money by the glitter guy um it's a really nice green and it goes really well with this tumbler and i'm going to sprinkle that down at the bottom i'm not trying to get full coverage um on the bottom the very bottom i'm just kind of sprinkling it um kind of full at the rim of the bottom of the tumbler and then i'm gonna um, waterfall it up towards the middle and um, I end up taking the tumbler off of my turner and just tilting it and just tapping very lightly on the um, glitter container um, just so that it sprinkles a little bit up and then I'm going to take um, ruby slippers by the glitter guy and do the same thing at the top now I'm doing a blood drip on this so this really wasn't necessary to do the red um i just wanted to uh because m the more glitter the better but um you can skip this step if you if you choose so i'm gonna let this spin and i did um two additional coats after that and then just to seal in all that glitter and then i'm moving on to my drip so here i mixed up five milliliters no oh, maybe yeah about five milliliters of epoxy uh, fast set again by um, Mr. Nola's glitter and I mixed in this like red mica powder and here I'm adding in just a little bit of the dark chestnut um, to darken up that red because this was a really bright red and I wanted more of a, a deeper red and um, so I'm adding in a lit just like a smidge of this dark chestnut um, and it really wasn't giving me 
um, really what I wanted. So I did grab out um, another mica powder uh, ruby, which did end up giving me the color that I was looking for. So um, there's the ruby. So I add a little bit of the ruby into there and it really did um, help deepen up that red a little bit more. Um, with this being fast set, this did not take long for this to set up. Um, I did end up adding one scoop of cornstarch in here just to help thicken it up a little bit and to help thicken it up. It took probably a total of 10 minutes um, after I added the uh, scoop of cornstarch in um, for it to thicken up to where I can then apply it to the tumbler. And here I am adding in the cornstarch and it's just a thick popsicle stip stick scoop and mix that in. Um, I could have continued to add more and make this go a lot quicker, but I was working on other stuff. So yeah, I just added one scoop, mix that in very well. And then I do set this off, um, set a timer on my phone for about 10 minutes so that I knew not to miss it and then it would be ruined. So once that was mixed in pretty well, I set it aside and then came back to it when it was time to then apply it to the tumbler. And here you can see how much thicker the epoxy has gotten it's sticking to the popsicle stick really well. And so it's time to apply to the tumbler. So I kind of just go around the rim a little bit in um, some of the spots. And then where the saying is, I do not want as much of a drip because I don't really want it covering all of the words, obviously. And then where the back is, I want more dramatic drips. So I will add more epoxy there and kind of scrape my popsicle stick um, right here where you can see I'm scraping it and this is going to give me a more dramatic drip down the tumbler um, because this is thick epoxy this is going to take uh, quite a while for this to drip down um, you will see in a little bit I kind of tap the tumbler on the desk um, and this will help it along to move um, and then you will see also later, I kind of tip my tumbler up and that will stop the drip because it, it was kind of getting a little too close to the words and starting to cover them and that I didn't want. So I'm going to continue going around the tumbler, um, adding epoxy where I want, adding more epoxy in places. Um, it's better to kind of start out with less epoxy and you can add more as you need it. And then right about here, you can see where the drips are really starting to come down the tumbler, which is exactly what we want. Um, and in the back, I did want more dramatic. And you can see um, as, the, as the tumbler sits where it starts to sit up, it will go down farther, which in the end result, you'll be able to see. But um, so far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. And I'm just going to continue to work around this tumbler, um, putting the drips where I want them.
So now I'm happy with where I have all my drips placed and I'm gonna let this cure overnight and then do one final coat over it all and then it will be finished. And then here is the final product and I love how this turned out. Um, as you can see, it is Christmassy, but yet has a twist of not so Christmassy. And it's perfect for any crime um, junkie, if you will. Um, so yeah, I think this turned out great. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.